Hi guys, this is Emeline from the Off Track family. Hope you're doing fine today. In this episode, we will be talking about water. So not the water we drink, but the water we need for washing and cooking while overlanding. So here's the question. Is it necessary to carry water while traveling with your vehicle, except the one that you are going to drink? Well, the truth is that it depends on your way of overlanding and camping. If when you travel you mainly stop on campsites for the night, I would say that it's not really necessary to carry water except the one that you are drinking, of course, because you will have water facility facilities on site. You will be able to uh, cook, wash your dishes and also shower at night. So that's uh, the simple way of traveling, no worries about water, you just stop on campsites. If in between the campsites overnight staying you plan to drive into the wild and plan to go a bit more remote maybe a few days I would advise you to carry at least 20 liters jerry can of water. As said before we are talking about the water we use for cooking and washing and not about the water that we drink. We always have a few liters of water, of drinking water in our car while traveling, but we also do travel with a catadin filter. So we can filter unsafe water in case we are in a complicated situation, but of course that's another story. So we have to use a 20 liters jerry can while traveling and it does fine, it does the job fine. Some of them even allow you to fix a, no, a small open-close valve that acts as a tap, so that's also cool. Now, for you who want to go uh, remote and be autonomous um, several days in a row, you may need more than a simple jerry can, especially if you cook and need to wash your dishes while overlanding. Concerning our equipment, it was only since our last trip in Australia that we started to cook while overlanding. Before that we didn't cook because we found it less convenient than picnics. Picnic is cool because you don't need you don't need any cutlery, no pans, no cooking, no stove and it's all, it also means no need of water for cooking of course. <laughs> you need to drink, drink water please. <laughs> so even if we still like picnics, uh, now we want to be more autonomous and that's why we started to cook while overlanding and we wanted to be able to cook uh, non-perishable food such as rice, lentils or pasta. So that's why we needed more than, than just a simple jerry can of, of water. This is the short story on why we installed a tank water in our Defender. So we bought this 60 liters water tank. It is a BPA-free plastic container from Frontrunner. We installed it in our car. It is installed in the wooden interior wooden layout made by, made by Aménagement 44. If you want to know why we chose a plastic water tank over a metal water tank, you can read our full blog post on our website. The link is in the description below. Mainly why we chose the plastic container over a metal water tank, it's because of its sizing, because uh, of its placement, possible placement in our Defender, and also because it is lightweighted. What is great with this model is that it goes perfectly in our interior wooden layout. We also wanted it to be the lowest possible to keep the car's stability at its best and uh, but not and but 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 not underneath the car so it wouldn't be damaged by some off-road situations. So yes my husband had to move some equipment that was stored in this part of the interior wooden layout but it was absolutely worth it. We fill up the water tank from the inside of the trunk we access the tank cap without opening the wooden layout and the water comes out on the top of the left rear wheel. This is a well thought built-in device, totally homemade and not to mention that it wasn't as easy as it seems to be. So I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 
We have two valves, a simple one where the water comes out only because of gravity and we have a second valve that is connected to a pump that provides pressure. The pump is also from front runner. We connect a simple garden hose on that second valve, switch on the pump and then we can use the water under pressure for cleaning uh, and washing anything. Until now we have used it for cooking, washing dishes, uh, simple body cleaning, uh, washing some and washing some clothes. We did manage about 10 days until it was totally empty, but that was because of the clothes washing. Uh, I would say that it wasn't a really good experience because we wasted too much water, too much time and energy to try to clean these, those clothes. And I would say that it's better to go to the laundry mat. It is really important to not overcharge your vehicle while overlanding, especially if you like going off-road like us. Drinking water is an absolute necessity, but water for cooking or washing some dishes may not be useful depending on your way of overlanding. We are looking into becoming more independent while overlanding, but in a simple and effective way. So having in our Defender this water tank is an absolute necessity for us. There we are guys, so I hope this episode will be helpful to you. We'd be absolutely pleased to hear from you, so please reach out below and let us know how you deal with water while overlanding. Of course, if you liked it, put a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we would also love to connect with you on our social media, so check below. We also left our Instagram and Facebook page uh, links. Okay, so talk to you soon. Bye! Il est tout perdu. <rire> Ça va pas être bon.